My name is Nicole with so much more. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a pleater board, which will speed up your pleated mask making efforts. We'll be using the measurements, which are available on my website. This is linked in the description just below this video. While you're watching, if you see something that you like, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Head over to my website to grab your pleater board measurements. Now let's get started. Take piece A and align that on the right side of the line that is on the right. Secure piece A with a piece of tape. I'm using extra wide masking tape. Now once piece A is aligned and secure, you're going to flip it over and secure the other side in the same manner. Next, we will align and secure piece B to the base. Secure this with tape on both sides. For piece C, we will nest this piece with the underside of piece A and secure it with tape on both sides. And finally, we'll do the same with piece D just right below piece B. Once you have your pleater board assembled, make sure your base is positioned with the word top on top. The mask that I'm folding has a casing for a flexible nose wire and an opening for a filter. I place my opening right side up and facing right. Continue flipping and folding your fabric through the pleater board following the order as shown. Now I've brought out my wool mat. I'm gonna press each of the sides. This is completely optional. If you don't want to press, you don't have to. You can just use clips to secure the pleats that you've made. I use four clips, two on each side. Once you have your clips in place, you'll just pull that last pleat right out of the pleater board and that's it your pleats are done i like to give my mask my pleated mask a nice press these little wool mats work just great for that purpose thank you so much for watching if you like this video tutorial be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you sign up for notifications, you'll be the first to know about my next video. If you want more DIY, go to the link in the description and sign up for my weekly newsletter. Each week, I send you inspiration directly to your inbox. For more tutorials, head over to my website and Facebook group, where there is always so much more in store.